sovereignty or servitude? That's what we're going to talk about today on Strength for Today, this Wednesday, April the 9th, 2014. We're right in the middle of camp meeting here at Timberlake Baptist Church. And tonight, Brother Bill, uh, Brother uh, Larry Johnson and his wife Donna will be preaching for us here at Timberlake Baptist Church and singing. So please come out tonight and join us. Only two nights left at camp meeting. Come on out and let's have a great time in the Lord and let's rejoice in the goodness of God. Sovereignty or servitude, we've been talking about serving. Proverbs chapter 12 verse 24 says this, The hand of the diligent shall bear rule, but the slothful shall be under tribute. Those who work and produce in life will be those who are in control of their own destiny, and many times in the control of the destiny of others. Those who are found to be diligent and responsible are the ones who are entrusted in leadership. So if you want to be a leader, you've got to be trusted and responsible. Matthew chapter 25, verse 21 says, His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I'll make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Those who do not work hard and are not diligent in their responsibilities toward God and man will always find themselves under the guidance and supervision of those who are responsible, under the guidance and supervision of those who are faithful. So if you want to be in leadership, you have to be responsible, doing what you should when you should, and faithful, being there whether you want to or not. That's called faithful service. That's called either being sovereign or being a servant. And folks, I want to serve God. And the only way you can serve God and be free of man is to be responsible and to be faithful. Proverbs 22, 29 says, He that hath a bountiful eye shall be blessed, for he giveth of his bread to the poor. Serve people. Don't be a boss, be a servant. Be a leader, not a dictator. Whether it's in your home, on your job, or in your church. And God will bless you. And he'll be your strength for today and your hope for tomorrow.